In the mid-20th century, Charles Darwin wrote his most famous book on the origin of species. A century later, the majority of scientists around the world agreed on using the scientists' evolutionary theory as the basis for their work. However, the debate about the main question still continues. Could humans have evolved from primates? The opponents of this theory argue that not a single primate has evolved into a human throughout recorded history. But is that really the case? Let's investigate together. For a long time, one of the controversial aspects of the Darwinian theory was the question of language. Of course, many animals can be trained. For example, parrots can mimic human speech. But all these actions are performed mechanically. Can they do it consciously? This question was raised by Penny Patterson, a researcher at Stanford University. In 1971, she began an experiment that would change the world. Penny Patterson, a psychologist, was studying the mechanisms of communication between humans and human-like primates. She started working at the San Francisco Zoo with a young female gorilla named Coco. At first, it was very difficult to teach the student. To understand the basics of sign language, Patterson tried all the methods used by teachers working with deaf-mute children. However, Coco did not allow humans to get close to her, so Penny showed Coco an object, produced the corresponding sign, and repeated this operation as many times times as needed for the gorilla to remember the connection between the object and the sign. The first sign that Coco learned was the sign for thirst, which involved touching her lips with one finger. Over time, Coco and Penny developed a closer relationship and Coco stopped being aloof. Penny was now able to teach her new signs more quickly by joining Coco's fingers to form the sign. After mastering the basics of sign language, Coco's vocabulary expanded at almost the same rate as that of children her age. At the age of three, Coco could use 170 words without any mistakes. By the end of her life, she could understand and comprehend nearly 2,000 English words. In the early days of the experiment, many skeptics viewed it with great doubt. They believed that all the progress achieved was merely the result of rigorous training rather than a thought process. However, as time went on, the number of skeptics decreased significantly due to the undeniable evidence of Coco's intelligence. For example, when she signaled with signs that she wanted a banana but was given an orange instead, she immediately responded with signs that meant, no, I want a banana quickly. Additionally, for her daily walk, if she was offered a yellow sweater, Coco demanded a sweater in her favorite color, red. In this way, Coco used the knowledge she gained about communication to convey her thoughts and desires to her human caregivers. When Coco didn't know a specific word, she would combine two signs she knew in an attempt to explain herself. For example, a new ring was given the name finger bracelet until she learned the precise signs corresponding to these objects. There were other indicators of her development as well. For instance, Coco often resorted to cleverness to avoid punishment, and these antics didn't anger the researchers. On the contrary, they were delighted because it was direct evidence of the experiment's success. Coco and Penny worked for several hours a day, expanding Coco's vocabulary, testing her acquired knowledge, and assessing her intelligence. However, like all young students, Coco quickly got tired of lessons and demanded entertainment. She enjoyed riding a bicycle and sitting in the back seat of a car, exploring the surrounding areas of the zoo. She also liked colorful picture books and interacting with other animals. Initially, Coco attempted to communicate with four-legged animals using sign language, similar to the sign language used by deaf-mute humans. However, when she didn't receive any responses, she abandoned these attempts. Even during her leisure time, Coco exhibited remarkable signs of intelligence. She often engaged in imaginative play, pretending that a particular doll was a little girl. She would have long conversations with her favorite toy. At some point, Coco requested that her caretakers give her a kitten. The caretakers brought her several homeless kittens to choose from. After carefully examining each one, she decided to keep a tailless gray kitten and named him All Ball. Coco cared for him as if he were her own offspring, carrying him on her back and hugging him. Unfortunately, in the same year, the kitten escaped from Coco's enclosure and was hit by a car. Coco was deeply saddened by this loss and expressed her grief to anyone who would listen. When asked what happened to the kitten, she signaled cat, followed by sleep. And upon seeing a photo of a kitten that resembled her beloved pet, she responded with signs for cry and appeared sad. The experiment concluded in 2018 when Coco passed away peacefully in her sleep at the age of 46. 
Dr. Patterson's experiment can indeed be considered a breakthrough in understanding the secrets of human evolution. As Darwin predicted, primates turned out to be the most human-like creatures not only in terms of physiology, but also psychology. In addition to the famous Coco, scientists conducted another experiment that demonstrated the ability of primates to self-reflect. This experiment began in the late 1960s with Alan and Beatrix Gardner at the University of Nevada. They raised a chimpanzee named Washoe in conditions closely resembling human child rearing. The Gardners aimed to create the most comfortable environment for teaching sign language. Over the years, they noticed that Washoe could learn new signs without the use of operant conditioning methods. Instead, she learned by observing people. They also observed that immediate rewards hindered learning and distracted Washoe. As a result, they eliminated the elements of operant conditioning, such as punishment and reward. By the end of the experiment, Washoe knew around 400 signs. To consider a sign learned, she had to use it independently and appropriately for 14 consecutive days. Moreover, after she had a son, she independently helped him learn sign language. This ability to pass on knowledge to their offspring was seen as a unique example of transmitting knowledge to non-human species. Of course, both experiments are far from the plot of the Planet of the Apes movie, but Coco and Washoe demonstrated remarkable abilities in communication and interaction with humans. These experiments may lay the foundation for future research on the origin of humans. Until next time, friends.